Everything you do, it sends me higher than the moon with every twinkle in your eye. You strike a match that lights my heart on fire. When you're near, I had my. Hey guys, okay, so today I'm gonna do my last Halloween tutorial. I actually took my wings off because they were kind of heavy. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will teach you how to do this makeup look. And then I will also teach you how to do the fairy one that I made. The wings. I don't know if you guys can see that. My wings. They're so cute. And then my fairy pouch. And my tutu. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I will see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. And I think that's it. All of my links will be down below. So my Instagram, Twitter. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day day and happy Halloween to you guys. Okay, so starting off with the makeup, I'm going to go ahead and prime my lid with Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Sin. I'm just going to take a bright shimmery color and highlight my inner corner as well as my brow bone. I'm going to take this green color and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to the inner corner of my eyes. Then I'm going to take a darker color and I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the outer corner. I'm going to take this Jumbo Pencil in Forest Nymph by... Elf, and I'm just gonna go ahead and draw some vines and make it all pretty. So after you're done with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a green and I'm just gonna go over that color just to make it a little bit more shimmery and pretty. Then I'm gonna grab this white shimmery color along with a green and I'm just gonna shade it in a little bit just so it's a little bit more shimmery. After that, I'm going to take this bright pink color and I'm going to go ahead and just dab places where I want to put the roses or the flowers. So I'm just going to pick a couple different places and I'm just going to dot it on just like that. Okay, so after you're done with that, I'm just going to take a liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to apply these squiggly marks to make it look like little rose buds. Next, I'm just going to line my lash line and then my waterline as well with this liquid eyeliner. Okay, next I'm just going to take a bright pink color and I'm just going to add that to the apples of my cheeks and then I'm going to finish this lip with a coat of mascara. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the tutu. So you're going to need a ruler, an elastic band, scissors, and different colored tools. Basically all you're going to do is you're going to cut this into two inch strips. You're going to want it um, 2 by 24 inches and I'm just using the ruler as a guide to cut little slits and then I'm just going to go ahead and cut it all the way through. You really don't need it to be super straight or anything because you're not going to really see it when you put the two two together. So I'm just going to do this with all three of the colors. So after you're done cutting them into strips, all you're going to do is you're going to grab your elastic band and then measure that around your waist and then super glue that together or hot glue it. Next you're just going to take two pieces of your tool and you're just going to knot it onto the elastic band just like this. So you're just going to pull that through and then you're going to continue this process all the way around the tutu. California, seen the sights and people there. Walked the streets of sleepy sea towns, tasted salty ocean air. Once you're done applying all of the tool, your tutu is done. And on to the fairy wand. Such a pity you weren't Okay, so first you're just gonna grab a plastic hanger and you're gonna cut off the straight part of that hanger, and that's gonna be the base of your wand. Then you're gonna take some styrofoam, get a cup, and then kind of use that as a mold to create your circle. 
And then you're just going to cut off all the excess styrofoam just to make it a little bit more neater. Make your way to London, England, Paris, France is also nice. Ooh la la when people say... To cover up the styrofoam and the hanger, I just basically took some ribbon and I just hot glued that around the stem and then took some extra fabric that I had and then hot glued that as well. Then I took some extra tool that I had and I'm just decorating it however. You can decorate it however you want. some ribbon, the same ribbon that I wrapped around the wand, and I'm just going to create a bow just because I think it pulls it all together. I'm just going to hot glue this into place and then you're basically done with your fairy wand and now on to the pixie dust pouch. And I'm just going to cut that square out and then I also did another square that was half the size so it'd be 5 by 5. This is my song to carry on when you have found yourself alone and I am I'm just going to go ahead and hot glue the edges together and then fold that inside out. I'm also going to hot glue the sides as well just to give it a cleaner edge. Every last minute that we have to celebrate. Just basically decorating it. In the sky, and you wonder why goodbyes are bound to be life. And after you're done, your fairy dust pouch is done. Now onto the fairy wings. Basically, all I did was I took four hangers and I just shaped them into wings. And then I attach the extra tool that I had left over and I just use that as kind of like the netting around it and then I applied some ribbon and I decorated it and that's basically it. It's really simple and really easy. I just took the leftover leaves and flowers that I had left over and then I just applied that to the wing so it would match the fairy pouch as well as the wand and then I'm just going to take some of this fabric paint and just add some accents and, stuff. and then you're done. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Happy Halloween! it's not really quick it's like a really long video are like really bugging the crap out of me because and I'm gonna teach you guys how to fly okay mm. hopefully you guys can see this these wings okay so when I designed these wings I was like how the hell am I supposed to put them on and then I was just like oh, okay a little pouch to pit 
my fairy dust in. Hungry. <laughs> oh, Nathan's coming down right now. Hold on.